Over 65 million Americans call the rural areas of our country home. It is here that most of our food supply is produced and where our energy facilities are located that power our cities. Rural first responders are constantly faced with unique challenges on a day-to-day -day basis, but they're even more vulnerable when faced with the challenge of Seaburn incidents. Seaburn is an acronym for chemical, biological, radiological, nuclear, and explosives. And emergencies involving these sources can have devastating effects and require a specialized response to prevent further damage or loss of life. To explain and reinforce the importance of Seaburn readiness, the RDPC is offering AWR 225, Seaburn Response for Rural First Responders. This eight-hour course certified by the U.S. Department of Homeland Security is offered free of charge to qualifying rural jurisdictions. AWR-225, Seaburn Response for the Rural Responder, is for any first responder, whether it be police, fire, EMS, for uh, emergency response to a Seaburn incident. With the AWR-225, I hope to uh, train my people for some of the local hazards that we have with a local paper mill here and some of the trucking industry that comes in and out hauling things. And uh, with the times that we live in, you know, we never know what can happen and uh, want them to get them as well trained and be prepared they, that we can for anything that might happen. AWR 225 is designed to give the first responder the ability to safely assess the incident scene and determine whether it requires a Seaburn response. For many years, first responders here in America have been injured while responding to incidents and they have not been properly trained. Uh, one of the things that AWR 225 provides is the proper training to protect them when they're responding to incidents, whether it be chlorine or ammonia or other chemicals. We have had a couple of train wrecks, uh, derailments where cars were off and that did pose uh, various threat that the, we, we did work together with the fire department on. But uh, mostly of our chemical dangerous that we run into is mostly clan labs with people passing through that we'll find them in cars, hotel rooms, and houses. A clandestine lab is where people are making some type of illegal narcotic. It could fall into ecstasy or methamphetamines. We typically have been dealing with the clan labs, as we call them, or people that are cooking methamphetamines with, uh, with pseudofeds and using ammonia and iodine and making them in a bottle where they're called a shake and bake and while they're attempting to make this volatile cocktail if you will uh, there tends to be very flammable and combustions so then explosions occur and fires start. AWR 225 participants will gain a basic understanding of the dangers involved in Seaburn incidents, instruction in the use of field guides, the steps involved in safe scene assessment and the components of Seaburn operations. Students that take AWR 225 are going to take away an improved knowledge of hazardous materials, planning, response, and overall safety when they respond to incidents. Well, I came to AWR 225 so we can improve relations and improve the speed if we had any kind of incident going on with any chemical spills or any incidents. We can communicate better with the fire department or first responders or EMS or whoever might come to the scene. I think this would benefit just about everybody as it, it does open your eyes into uh, signs that you need to be looking for when you are responding to critical incidents or just everyday things. You don't know what you're walking into when you get a call. You're just getting what your dispatchers have given you. So you know you, you need to kind of open your eyes a little more and look for other telltale signs to be careful about what you're getting ready to walk into. The intent of AWR 225 is to address the challenges faced by rural first responders when they are confronted with a Seaburn incident, resulting in a stronger, better prepared emergency response force. I think the AWR 225 class is very, uh, is a very good class. It, uh, I think it makes you very aware of, uh, of, of the things that you can better yourself on and, and making sure that you're up to date on your training. and that you're prepared to the best of your ability in this class offers a lot of, of those um, a lot of those chances. One of the main points on AWR 225 is that it's provided through the RDPC, the Rural Domestic Preparedness Consortium, and all the training is free. This course is uh, eight hours in length and it doesn't cost anything to your agency. I, th I think it would be great for any first responders, whether they're paid departments, volunteer departments, to be able to afford their 
their employees, their firefighters or police officers or first responders this type of training because they're going to be the first ones on the scene. They need this to, pro to provide for their safety and the local citizen safety. Uh, we're, we're learning a lot in this class that we didn't know before we never had available to us. And uh, if most departments are like mine, they're looking for any training that they can get. And I would recommend this class to anyone. For more information on AWR 225, Seaburn Response for Rural First Responders, visit www.ruraltraining.org or call 1-877-855-RDPC.